Um, my husband and I were house parents at another children's home and we were looking for a change um, to a different children's home and we started looking around to find kind of what we were looking for. I work with the social services uh, department with Esther Cox and um, Sean Hull and I um, do all the scheduling for the kids, all their doctor's appointments, dentist appointments. I keep all the paperwork files up to date. I keep all the um, staff files up to date. Anything related to paperwork and files, I handle that. And anything related to appointments, all that sort of thing. I think the vision is just, there's just so much out there, so many kids out there. Um, I get calls every day, kids, families that are looking for a better place, a place where the kids can grow. I heard many people say, I just want my kids somewhere where they can learn more about God, where they can uh, have a brighter future. That's the biggest thing right there, is just being able to help them, give them a better life, knowing God, and moving forward with their lives. We have devotionals. Um, we have, um, of course, church services. Um, I think the big thing is the one-on-one -on -one interaction with um, social services directors, they talk with them. Um, the spiritual life minister talks with them. Any questions they have, we're right there but mostly the house parents are just great about anytime they have a question and also by their example. I think that's the big thing is the example that they set for them in their daily lives. I think the disciple would be just um, living our life each and every day, the example that we set and teaching them, doing all that. <laughs> Rec center with all the games, we've got pool, movie room with the uh, seating and the big screen TV where they can feel like they've actually gone to a movie. They've got the, the gym, they play basketball, we have all sorts of activities in the gym. Outside basketball courts, outside tennis courts, the swimming pool. The kids love swimming in the summer and to get to swim every day in the summer, that's pretty cool. Most of them haven't had that opportunity. The cottages have um, the house parent side where they have their own living room, living quarters. And then there's the, the main area where there's the, uh, the big kitchen, dining room. And then all the kids have the rooms down the far hall. There's two kids in a room. It's like one big house. Um, even though the house parents are on one side, the kids on the other, it's all so open and it's, it's just like living with one big family. A lot of them are here because um, their families um, lack the um, parenting skills that they need. And so the kids have maybe gotten in with the wrong crowd, haven't really been taught well. The parents see that and feel, see the need for them to have something more and some are here because they've been raised by grandparents who can no longer care for them and they need, they need help. Some are here because they're on probation and they, um, they're only here for a short time, but in that short time that we have them, I think we can do a lot. Some had nowhere to live, some were homeless. Parents were homeless and saw that putting them in a place like this was a lot better for them to remain living in a car somewhere or in a shelter. There's lots of ways to get involved with Cherokee Home for Children. Um, we're always looking for house parents. Um, that We're always looking for people to volunteer. Um, I head up the Christmas program where I find um, and send lists to all the churches and groups and organizations that will help send Christmas presents at Christmas time. Phone sponsors or any kind of sponsor for a child. Um, a lot of these kids don't have contact with family. They need somebody to write them a letter, um, call them on the phone, send them something in the mail where they actually get something when other kids do and they don't. Help when we have a big project going on, tearing down trees or something, you know, to make something new. There's just always something that they can do. Right now, as social services coordinator, because I can still be with the kids, um, my husband and I were house parents here for um, over seven years, and then he was in an accident and um, I moved into the office at that point and now I'm still able to be involved, I'm still able to be a part of the lives here and it's a wonderful place to be, wonderful uh, staff to work with. It, it's home. It's an amazing place to, to work, it's an amazing field to get into. If you want to call it a field, it's really a mission field. Every day is something new, every day is something maybe a little challenging, but it's something that is very fruitful. If you know of a ministry that we need to know about, please give us a call, 888-641-8606, or take a look at our website, revelationstv.org.